Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Azure Fundamental Lab Sessions. I'm Song jin -an, and I'm a Microsoft Technical Trainer based in Seoul, South Korea. In this exercise, we will learn how to use Total Cost of Ownership Calculator to compare the cost of running a sample workload in your on-premises environment versus on Azure. To get started, let's first head over to the following link, aka.ms slash az900 slash sandbox. It will direct you to this collection of lab exercises, which have been extracted from the collection of learning paths at aka.ms slash azfunpaths. For today's exercise, we will go all the way to the bottom of the page and click on the last exercise, which is compare workload costs using the TCO calculator. Now, TCO calculators are great for use when you're trying to investigate whether there could be any potential cost savings in moving your on-premises IT environment to the cloud. So in this exercise, we're going to assume the following scenario where we are trying to see if moving these resources to the cloud will save cost over the next three years of operations. The process of using TCO calculator involves three steps. The first step is defining your workload. You need to first define which workload you want to migrate to the cloud. Now, these have been already been defined as above for today's exercise. The second step is adjusting the assumptions. Because we are comparing the cost of running the resources on the on-premises environment versus running them on Azure over the next three years, we need to assume the cost of related elements. For example, in order to calculate the total cost of running an on-premises data center, we need to consider the cost of building a data center, the electricity cost to power the hardware, IT labor cost to maintain and manage the hardware, and so on. All these assumptions will be used to calculate the total cost of running an on-premises environment and the Azure environment. After you're done with configuring the assumptions, it will show you the report on the third step, which will give you a detailed comparison between the total cost of on-premises environment and the Azure environment. Now let's head over to the TCO calculator and try implementing these steps on our own. By clicking on this link, you will be directed to the calculator page. The first step was to define the workloads. I'm going to follow along the instructions on the exercise and add Windows Server uh, comprised of 50 virtual machines. So I'm going to type in Windows VM for the name. I'm going to set it to virtual machines uh, with 50 virtual machines. And each of the virtual machine will have eight cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to add another set of 50 virtual machines, uh, this time with Linux. So Linux virtual machines, uh, change the environment to virtual machines, operating system Linux. Uh, for this one, I'm going to change the virtualizations to VMware. Again, each of the virtual machine will have a core with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to skip the database for this exercise, but feel free to add them if you are trying to migrate database in a real situation. For the storage, I'm going to set the capacity to uh, 60 terabytes uh, with 120, backup, uh, 120 terabytes for backup storage and zero terabytes for archive storage. Lastly, I'm going to set the outbound bandwidth uh, for the networking to 15 terabytes and then click on next. Now, the second step is to adjust the assumptions. In here, you can adjust various settings which can either reduce or increase the total cost of your on-premises environment or your Azure environment. For example, you can choose to use the geo-redundant storage option for your Azure environment. You can adjust the uh, price per kilowatt hour, which will be added on to your total cost of on-premises data center. You can also adjust the IT labor costs, hardware costs, software costs, 
and so on for your on-premises data center. Now, by default, all the costs have been estimated using the industry average. So for today's exercise, we are just going to use the default value. Click on Next, and it will show you the report, which will compare the on-premises cost versus the cost on Azure. Now, you can change the time frame you want to look. For this exercise, let's choose three years. And you can also change the region because Azure costs can differ depending on the location. Uh, for this one, let's change it to uh, North Europe. We can see that based on our defined workloads and assumptions, we can save as much as about $420,000 over three years by migrating to Azure. Now, if you scroll down, it will show you the breakdown of each cost using different types of charts. In here, they're using pie chart to show how much of compute, data center, networking, storage, and IT labor costs take up. As you can see, customers do not have to pay for building and maintaining data centers when using Azure. So there's no cost related to the data centers. If you scroll down, you can see even more detailed breakdown summary by each category in actual numbers. Again, we can see that the data center costs have been dramatically reduced to $0 by migrating over to Azure, and all the other costs have also been reduced by somewhat. And you can also open up these drop-down boxes to see how they have calculated these numbers based on the workloads and assumptions we have defined from the previous steps. You can either download this report or log in with Microsoft account to either share or save this report. And if you have any questions regarding the calculation, you can always reach out to the Azure sales team by clicking on this contact me button. And now that brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we talked about how to use TCO calculators to calculate the potential cost savings of migrating to Azure compared to the on-premises environment. Hope you enjoyed it and make sure to check out other Azure Fundamental Lab exercises as well on aka.ms slash az900 slash sandbox. Thank you.